OpenAI has just released the latest version of Sora, and this is said to be the world's most powerful text-to-video tool. And as you can see from the demo, there's a lot of really cool features and a lot of customization options you have with Sora. So you simply start by entering the prompt in which you would like to create, whatever video you would like to create. And as you can see here, you have different dimensions which you can choose. You can create a landscape or you can create a portrait style image. And you can also, um, you can also specify the type of resolution you would like to have. You can go to 480 and you can go all the way up to 1080p. Now currently Sora is going to be very hard for you to get access to because uh, there's a lot of traffic and they are sort of bugged down. So it's hard for you to actually get access to Sora at the time of recording this video. But as the hype dies down, you will be able to use it for yourself and experience this text to video tool. So as you can see here for this prompt, they created a elephant or woolly mammoth in an open desert. As you can see here, it looks you can recut, you can remix um, this video, and then you can also blend this video. So transition this video between another video. So this tool is going to be really good for creating clips or creating stock videos that you can merge with other content that you've created. I don't think personally from the beginning of this tool that you'll be able to generate full length videos or full length movies because there's going to be a limit of up, up to how long these videos will be based upon the limitations of the AI. But as it continues to roll out, you will continue to generate longer and longer content. And eventually you may be able to generate a full movie in just a couple of minutes. But at the time of recording this video at the time of the release, I think the best use cases for Sora is going to be to create social media content. With Sora, you'll be able to quickly create content for any one of your social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and so forth. This is going to be especially useful if you're in sort of the video game niche, cartoon niche, abstract niche, the art niche, because you can create really visually stunning videos very quickly using AI. So I think the first use case is going to be to create social media content. You can also do this for, let's say, corporate businesses or more traditional businesses. You may have to just sort of, uh, you, as you can see, you can generate more photorealistic videos here, and you can then add captions onto this video, or you can add an AI voiceover. And I see the ability to create short form videos are going to be much, much easier, much more high quality and you'll be able to efficiently create a content machine that can churn out short form videos to really capture traffic growth and social media growth on different mediums. Here are some other use cases of Sora that we got back from Claude. Sora can be really good at storyboarding or creating a concept for a video. So instead of you actually going ahead and creating, putting the budget and the time into creating a full video to understand if the concept will work, you can use Sora to really visualize a concept that you have in your mind or to test out a video idea that you have. And let's say it does well or you like the way that it looks, you can then invest more into creation of that actual video. So this is going to be very quick for you to create storyboards, for you to create previews and for you to get inspirations for videos in which you like to create. So quick prototyping of video concepts and storyboards, creating custom video content for social media, generating stock video footage. Now, I believe that all of this video stock that you have is going to be free use. You can then potentially sell back these stock videos um, to other websites or place them on marketplaces and get paid for stock video footage using Sora. Video game cutscene creations, you can create very good cut screens or very good trailers using um, Sora. As you saw with the text to image tools, it's really easy for you to create abstract art or things that are more cartoonish. Um, so it will be much easier for you to create these types of videos when using Sora. You can create educational videos and demonstrations. You can visualize historical events or scientific concepts. Again, I think this is going to be really, really good because you can then visualize things that are were from the past and the AI does a really, really good job at doing that. And you can do that with a style that it's gonna be consistent to your specific brand. And if you add an AI voiceover and you use a tool like Claude to kind of create the script, you can create really in-depth long-form video without ever having to be on camera and it can look very, very visually appealing. You can generate simulations for training purposes, creating interactive learning materials, demonstrating processes or procedures. So again, if you want to create, let's say a 3D model of a building which you would like to create, you can use Sora to do so. It's not just going to be entertainment purposes, there's also going to be a lot of educational and business related purposes for this tool. 
So again, for marketing and advertising, you can do rapid creation of video ads, product demonstrations and visualizations, create branded content across different formats. There is a feature which allows you to include an image and then we'll turn that image into a video. So you can definitely place, let's say a product um, onto Sora and then Sora will then turn that into a video, which again could be really good for your marketing efforts. For professional and technical, you can architect and design visualization, engineering simulations and demonstrations, urban planning visualizations. Again, if you have a plan, you can upload it onto Sora and it will be able to take that plan and turn it into life. Urban planning visualizations, scientific modeling and visualization, medical procedure demonstrations, safety and training videos. So again, because this is such a new tool, as you can see, the possibilities and the use cases really are a lot more than you would initially think. There's a lot more that you can do with Sora that meets the eye. Content editing and enhancement, you can extend existing videos, you can create transition between clips, you can generate multiple variations of video content. Research and development, you can test physical simulations, develop new visual effect techniques, experiment with narrative structures, exploring human AI creative collaboration, and studying visual perception and cognition. So as you can see, some very interesting use cases that we get back here from Claude. I'm very interested to know what you will be using Sora uh, to do or what are you most excited to use Sora for. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. At the time of recording it, the account creation is currently unavailable because there's such a heavy traffic. So they have temporarily disabled Sora account creation, but hopefully we'll all be able to use it soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.